Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video, I want to talk about Hare Japan's uh, very, very interesting uh, lifting form. Now, before I say literally anything, I gotta preface this whole thing by saying yes, Hare Japan won the Mr. Olympia last year. He was literally the best bodybuilder in the world, so whatever he's doing, it's obviously working for him. However, Hare Japan's approach to training is, well, very curious i mean let's put it that way uh, for example right here he's doing a deadlift this is his most recent training video this is a 10 weeks out of arnold classic so what he's doing he's doing a one rep max on a deadlift so i thought this was really strange because deadlift is a strength exercise mainly it's not really targeting any specific muscle and check it out it's a one rep max he's not wrapping this weight he's not doing this for hypertrophy he's not doing this to grow muscle he's doing this for fun he's 10 weeks out of arnold classic and like 10 weeks after the mr olympia his body is not deep into the off season it's definitely very fragile at this moment and this guy is again 2022 Mr. Olympia champion. If he wins the Mr. Olympia next year, he wins $400,000. If he wins the Arnold Classic, both Ohio and UK, he wins another $400,000. And let's not mention the sponsors and whatever he's doing, all kinds of appearances. And he's risking at everything for fun. You know, he's not really gonna gain much from doing this one rep max deadlift. I think we can all agree with that, that's pretty obvious. Yet he's still doing this, what for? Well, I guess just for fun. He doesn't know how to do this thing any differently. He loves to train, he trains like a maniac. It got him where he is right now and he doesn't have any attentions of changing that. And how he didn't injure himself to this point, it's a miracle, honestly. All right, next we got a set of heavy dumbbell shoulder presses and the way he gets into the position is by well curling these super heavy dumbbells and throwing them onto his shoulders look at this let's go once again instead of putting the dumbbells on his knees and lifting them up with the help of his legs no no he just sort of does this mix of a curl and a snatch and that's the way he puts the dumbbells in a starting position and that's how he does the set i mean it works obviously and the question is is this really necessary is it the best way how risky this is how much is he risking an injury or how much is he already injuring himself is he damaging his tendons a little by little you know creating small micro tears and stuff like that i don't know i don't know because he has been training like this since ever and so far, he didn't have any significant injuries, not that we know of. So, and he became the Mr. Olympia, so whatever he's doing, once again, it's working for him, but could he do better? Probably. I would have to say Hare Japan is an emotional trainer. He does the training the way he enjoys it, the way he loves it. As you can see right here, he's still doing a flat barbell bench press, which is basically the exercise where... 95% of pack tears happen and he's doing three reps to failure and then a drop set and it's all to failure it's all really heavy i'm not sure how much weight there is but it's heavy it's definitely heavy for him because he's failing multiple times and yeah his form here is good he's going deep he's doing everything perfectly but still it's a bench press and if you're making literally millions of dollars every year from bodybuilding if you got to the very top of the sport would you be risking everything by doing the barbell bench presses would you still be training like an average gym bro or would you switch your training to more safe kind of training more machine work and stuff like that which is something the majority of the top pros do Hadi has literally the best coach in the world honey rambud and you guys know that Phil Heath, who was also coached by Hunter Rambert, switched to machines for the better part of his career or his Mr. Olympia reign, and he prevented injuries from happening. And I'm sure Hani is trying to advise Hadi to switch his training, but I don't think Hadi is ever gonna listen. I'm sure he believes this is the only way, this is the only way he knows how to do, this is the way he formed his physique, and he believes if he does something else, he's gonna lose what he created, and I'm sure he believes this is the only way to make progress, because he has been making progress for the past couple of years. 
He has great chest, uh, great legs, a couple of other body parts, but as far as the back, that's where the issue is. His back is definitely not up to par. And could this be the reason? The way he's performing back exercises. So, for example, these uh, D-bar rows, which I'm sure you all have seen. This, well, this went viral, basically. Uh, so, he's supposedly training lats, but I don't think he's really targeting a lot of lats. I mean, sure, maybe the upper lat area is activating a little, but, you know, it's, it's mostly trap work. And we all know how he doesn't have the best lower lats. And this, I mean, I don't know, once again, he's, he's definitely risking a lot, this is like 200 kilos, which is like 450 pounds, so it's really super heavy, and, and now, now it's starting to look like what he was, what he would like to do, probably, uh, but yeah, with all that weight, you just can't, he just can't do it with, um, you know, let's say, let's put it this way, proper form. The mentality of going super heavy, super hard every time he does a working set is probably what led him to be this good, this big. I mean, look at his thickness from the side. It's, it's insane. It's crazy. But at this point, I mean, is he supposed to be trying to just get overall as massive as possible? <laughs> or should he focus more on, you know, specific body parts like his lower lats that are missing development? That are definitely his weak point. I think he should do that. And, and the way he's training right here is definitely not accomplishing that. I mean, this is <laughs> definitely not looking uh, great. It's definitely not the, the cleanest form by any means. I'm not saying he should train like Justin Shire or something like that, no, but I think a little bit better execution would, uh, would definitely aid in, in more development of those weaker body parts for him. But then also, you know, he is definitely a genetic phenomenon, so he doesn't really have to train perfectly, as long as he lifts something heavy, he's probably gonna activate most muscles in whichever area he's trying to target. So right here, he's doing one arm dumbbell rows and he's trying to hit his lower lats. Obviously, that's a lower lat exercise. Uh, Honey is approaching and touching his lower lats, trying to help him to connect. But really, if you consider autonomy and physics, this is definitely not targeting his lats. This is obviously... A trap exercise, just like those T-bar rows. Even though he doesn't want it to be a trap exercise, it's definitely that. I mean, look at this. How much lat is he really activating here? What do you think? And Honey Rambo touching that area is definitely not gonna help him much. I mean, I know most of us, if we did uh, the rows this way, we wouldn't target the lats at all. And I'm sure Hadi is definitely targeting them a lot. A lot more than an average person would, but still... I think he would do, I think he would accomplish a lot more if he did this the, the proper way, at least a little bit better, because this is basically, I don't know, upright rows, this is like for, I don't know, delts and traps, look at this, definitely more so than a lat exercise, which is what he's trying to target here. Like I said, he is massive and he has a lot of experience, so his form doesn't need to look perfect. For example, when he's doing these cable flies, I'm sure he's destroying his chest. And you guys know his chest is phenomenal. And, I, and you can see right here that the connection is there. Even though this is not exactly looking like the, the cleanest form, I'm sure he's still having a great connection with his chest in this exercise, the way he's doing it. I'm sure he's annihilating his chest uh, during the set like this. But it's his chest. It's a dominant body part for him. It can't be the case with every single muscle. I'm sure he can't target the lats the way he was doing those rows. But chest here, yeah, I'm sure he has a great connection and he's absolutely annihilating the chest. Now, as far as legs, aside from his chest and his abs, his legs are definitely one of his best body parts. And whenever he's doing squats, either front squats or back squats or smith squats, he's always doing them with this full range of motion. He's going as to grass, he's going as low as he can, and the weight is really heavy as well. He's super strong here, and I'm pretty sure this is what created majority of his leg muscles. But the way he's doing the other exercises, it's again really strange, really weird. For example, these Wii squats. Look at this, this is 500 kilos. That's like a thousand and 100 pounds. You know, that's really heavy. And as you can see, he's doing two rep max. Two reps and he's failing. 
and then he's doing a drop set and he's not going even halfway down this is basically a quarter squat at best so i don't know how much hypertrophy is this creating i have no idea i mean he has really dominant quads so maybe he doesn't need to go all the way down and going this super heavy it's still gonna you know do something but again it's very risky and i'm pretty sure he did a lot more with those super deep regular squats than what he's accomplishing here so again what is the point of this he's obviously not scared to go all the way deep because he's doing that with squats is he really accomplishing anything with this or is he just risking an injury is he doing this for ego for views i don't get it man i really don't get it i mean this is the mr olympia the best bodybuilder in the world i mean let's say second best bodybuilder in the world right now but like he's up there one of the best and the way he's training is is really confusing me a look at the way he does the leg press the guy has one of the best quads in the world right now and and this is the way he's doing the leg press like he is literally moving two inches is this even a quarter rep i mean he is moving the platform as much as you would move it if you were training calves so i don't know if he's feeling anything doing this i mean maybe he's getting a pump because he's doing so many reps it seems like he has an easy time, like he's not even struggling uh, with this weight. Here he is really not risking that much, but I don't think he's gaining that much either. But it's obviously more weight than he can handle. If he went all the way down, it would be half the weight, and I think then he would actually do something. Again, his legs are super genetically gifted, so I'm sure any kind of stimulus is gonna be is gonna create some some kind of growth for Hadi, but I'm sure with those deep squats, he did the most work, really, and that's how he grew his legs, not like this, guys. While I was scrolling down uh, Hadi's Instagram page, I found this older video, it's from 2021, a week before the Mr. Olympia, so I gotta say, once again, whatever he's doing, it's working, and for those people who are saying that Hadi didn't make progress in the past couple of years, here is a proof that he definitely did. He was obviously much smaller only two years ago in 2021. Now he's definitely much bigger, much thicker. He obviously definitely did grow overall, but did he improve his weaker body parts like back? I'm sure he improved at some, but the back was the reason he lost the Mr. Olympia to Derek Lansford. So all I'm saying is that if he changed his training at this point, maybe he would make that back better, he would make progress to some body parts and he would stay injury free and will be able to do this uh, for a while longer. Whatever you guys think, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you want to help me out reach the 50k subscribers, guys, please click that subscribe button. And also, if you need a 15% discount code for the Old School Lab supplements, the link is down below. Just make sure to use the code EVAN and you'll get a 15% discount, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you soon. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.